of getting all the goss from the girl herself on Sky Living HD isn't impressive enough, you can chat live with Katie Price after the show online at sky.com slash Katie. Right now, expect flashing images. That's what you call reality. Just when you thought she'd settled down. Blondes had more fun. Woo! Katie's life has been turned upside down yet again. You haven't got that spark you used to have. I can't win with you, can I? There are issues and that's it. With more drama. Look pathetic. I'm just really struggling doing it. And I won't let it drop, because I have to protect Harvey. More headlines. She had this wild night with Amir Khan, which never happened. It doesn't matter what job you do, you are entitled to have your privacy when you're home. The pricey bandwagon rolls on. Totally, Team Pricey. <laughs> She's just, oh my god. <laughs> and we'll be with her every step of the way. I do live a glamorous lifestyle. The pricey lifestyle. That's to go naked. So buckle up. <laughs> and expect the unexpected. We're not full of as life is anything but normal. <laughs> no! For Katie. Get out. Woo! December 2010, and Katie's frantic pace of life has come to a grinding halt in the snow. As you can see, we're completely snowed in. Look how deep the snow is. Look at the top of my car. And since we've no place to go, let it snow, let it snow, let it snow. Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Fantastic, oh, Harvey Price. Hey, that was brilliant, Harvey. That was. Three kids are a handful for most, but now Katie has two new additions to the family, Trevor and Vera. Do you think I like cleaning up your dirt? Vile. <laughs> I do live a glamorous lifestyle. The pricey lifestyle. Snowed in or not, there are some things in Katie's life that simply must go on. Basically, Mark and Sarah, they're here to start the transformations of my hair going blonde. So don't expect blonde today, because it's going to take a lot of goes to get it blonde. But it should look different to black. I might be bald at the end of you this. You can have... You might can be, have, might not be. Yeah, there's a chance. Don't you liar. <laughs> oh, well. Well, honest. <laughs> if Katie can't get out, how did hairdresser and Mark get in? Jumped in the car, and we've driven to within about a mile of here, and then we've trekked in. What a star. You've got all these things on the news. Do not travel unless it's necessary, this and that. And what am I doing? I've had my nails done and I've had my hair done. Without even leaving the house. Impressive. It's not just me who's getting it done, you know. We haven't well, gone out for anyone else. <laughs> but snow isn't the only reason Katie's stuck at home. Whether I could get out or not, I couldn't drive anyway. I'm not going into detail, but I've been banned from driving today so I can have a nice little chauffeur for six months. Haha, <laughs> fantastic. So when the paps are outside the house, they won't know what car I'm in because I would duck down and give them a run for their money. Evening turns to night time. But don't think you're about to see a blonde Katie. That would be way too easy. But are the first signs of change beginning to appear? People at home are thinking, ah, oh, we well, don't know much different. I know it's a lot different and I love it. I know it's a lot yeah, different because I've been here all evening doing it. The other thing the snowed in Katie is pining for is the shops. And as Katie can't get out, she's arranged for the shops to come to her. Today we're doing a shopping party. Kate wants to do something before Christmas to invite all her friends and family. So we've got about eight or nine different shops here, all selling clothing, jewellery, footwear, little knickknacks for Christmas. So it's a really good girly event. I'm just going to shop till I drop. All us girls, we're going to go out for Christmas. 
So we all need Santa outfits. So there's lots of little Santa outfits here. That I'm going to choose. And I love that one. Gorgeous that is. I don't think I've got the figure for that anymore. It's quite nice. Oh, that's a nice one as well. To get everyone in a party mood, a pole has been set up in the hallway. Someone needs to demonstrate the pole. They need to find a girl who can put a set of underwear on and swing around that pole. <laughs> OK, let's do the split. Alex can't resist. Very graceful. Maybe not. The stage is set for Katie to show how it's done. Hmm, pole dancing must be harder than it looks. After days of being stuck at home, the weather finally improves and Katie wastes no time planning her escape. I'm off to LA, la 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 land. I'll get my teeth cleaned and I'm going to have another attempt to go blonde. Katie won't be travelling alone. Going with her are friend Lara and best mates Gary and his husband, Phil. I don't know whether I'll wear them, Gary. I think you probably will. Katie has an unusually paparazzi-free journey to the airport. And with the airline staff ushering away the Heathrow Paps, Katie and Lara managed to make a smooth getaway. Well, I can run in now. <laughs> Thank, thank you so much, guys. Bye. But it's a different story in LA, where an arrivals hall full of eager paps lie in wait. Back up, back up, back up, back up, back up. What a welcome. Back up. Back up. And they tell fibs. My name is Stereo Mike. I'm sure the dentist said seven. To avoid a repeat performance of the airport, Katie's up at dawn the next day for a trip to the dentist. Go right in there, 436, we can run before he gets up his camera. Quick, quick, go, 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 even though they get Go, go, go. <laughs> even at this hour, it's a race against the Paps, or Pap, in this case. So I'm here just about to get my teeth cleaned, flossed, cleaned. I don't know what scaled. else to do. Scaled. Healthy. That's it. But this is something I don't want you to see. It's not very nice of me having my mouth like that, being all clean. So I'll have to ask you to leave the room, if you don't mind. Katie has more to worry about than the LA Paps and getting her teeth cleaned. A big story has broken back at home. Comedian Frankie Boyle has caused outrage by making a joke on TV at Harvey's expense. We can take the mickey out of things. We all do it. Yeah. But I think it's absolutely disgusting. So I hope he does get in a lot of shit about it, because it looks like he is, and Channel 4 should never have showed that on the show. It's not funny and it's not clever. And I won't let it drop, because I have to protect Harvey. Coming up... <laughs> Katie's night out in Vegas creates headlines. We went to the after-show party, and he just did never show. Will the new look materialise? Oh, God. How much longer do I have to sit and Alex and Katie face a tricky Christmas together at home. When I met you, you was tanned, you'd done your hair. Now you're dressing like a college boy. That's not nice. Katie and a gang of friends are in LA for some sun, fun, and most importantly, lots of beauty treatments. Hey, how are you? Your hair looks good. <laughs> Wow. Katie's been coming to this LA salon for a few years, and it's their job to turn her into a blonde. I've put on weight, don't you think? Love it. Do you think I've put on weight? I love it. 
That means yes. <laughs> Kate's going to get her hair changed from brunette to blonde, which I have been trying to get her to do for so long. Yeah. Yes. Like when you do the surf, yeah. it's blonde naturel, like a little yeah. darker at the root. I'm really yeah. happy about it because it actually has got a lot of bad memories for me oh, having dark hair. Like, well, so I think it's like a fresh start, a new Kate. Something about this trip to LA, I think it's going to be like some sort of turning curve or something in her life. Definitely do. As Katie faces her last few hours as a brunette. Oh my god. The boys disappear off to a Hollywood wig shop to search for some new hair pieces. There's like 20 different shades of blonde. The problem is she's not here, so I have to just think and imagine what the colour's gonna be like. So we're trying this one first. It might be that tone, but I've got a feeling it's going to have a bit more what red do you in think it. That's Beautiful. The mm -hmm. colour that makes your skin very glowing. It's gorgeous. You do look gorgeous. I love it. That one that really yeah, looks cool. Really good. There's the old fringe straight up. What a dog. Texture, movement. They are the key words. Let me see that one. Try it does too. Total, 6,051. And I always give you one thing. I always do that. Can't we have two? Mm -hmm. Katie might not like this. Well, what I've picked so far comes to just over $6,000. What? I know. Just get some of the blonde, a couple of blonde ones. And then a couple, of, like a copper one or something. It's just to get me through to Monday, basically, and just to fool, fool the packs. Okay, bye. Yeah. Right, okay, so what we'll do in this case then is... He's been getting carried away. We're going to take... that one. I'm not going to buy wigs for $6,000 without me matching it to my hair colour. <laughs> what have I got on my head, Mug? Oh, it stinks. Well, thank, thank you very you. much. Oh, take care. That'll keep mm -hmm. us going. Mm -hmm. Take care. Mm -hmm. oh, Take lovely. care. Thanks okay. very much. Bye. 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 Oh my god. I've got you one of those. Yeah, this is oh, to wear. Cool. And this is a good because one. Because until, until I get my extensions done, well, that's that's guys, and I said that I'm going to fall them. That's, that's amazing. Done, that'll be great. So, when we do one. it. So, look at that one. I that's love nice. the red too. Huh? Yeah. yeah. That's the, the, she charged three yeah. for that, but the others were eight. Blonde was so You don't really want to charge. You don't really want to. If only turning blonde was that simple. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. This is a hairdressing marathon that's even testing Gary's patience. <sighs> you know, Kate's been in the salon for. Oh my god, Kate's been in the sound for about seven hours. You see it's coming? Yeah, it's still a bit ginged though, isn't it? It looks, you know, from what I've seen, from what you started with and what you've got now, it's like amazing. I just can't wait to see the end result. Don't hold your breath, Gary. <laughs> It makes me ill because I never laugh. I don't know how to express a laugh. How many hours now? Well, uh, you get out. Kate's starting to hallucinate. I'm, I'm getting agitated now because I've been sitting there. I get to a point where I'm like, oh, I can't do anymore. I am. I, I can hear in my voice. The gang are exhausted, but at least it's nice and quiet in the salon. When Katie goes out in LA, it's open season for the Paps. I guess this is my Harlequin Christmas special. Do you like it? Does it suit me? What's that bit for? We're knickers with that as well. Santa baby. How 
So here you, Gary. Gary said, don't you think an eighteen-year-old would wear that, not you? How? I'm going to get it for that, and I'm going to wear it with you, you for me, that. If ever I thought that... He says I have to be eighteen to wear no. this. I only wore one like this last year. So that's all right. So, I think I'm struck off the Christmas card Don't you like this look to go out clubbing and that? Yeah, no, I do like it, but... You should have red for Christmas. And this colour's pretty. No, I just don't know. I just think... That's nice as well. How much are these for? I think she's gorgeous, so she can wear whatever she wants, you know. She's gorgeous, but... And I like the pink colour. She's not 17. This is where I get the sack. She can't sack you, Gary. No one else could bear to spend so much time watching her having her hair done. That's right, they're back in the salon. We probably got, I'd say, another five, five hours. Kate's absolutely exhausted. Ugh, I don't know, I'm knackered, we're knackered, but it's looking good. It's like an operation here, Operation Pricey. It's like an open heart surgery. Everyone's passing the tools, pass the tools. The next one, come on, let's go, let's go. Let's, let's rock and roll on the cocktails. Cheers. Three days of hair treatments on two continents at great expense. And Katie's finally a blonde. But is she happy? My hair's pretty f now, to be honest. It's like chewing gum, candy floss, but then it would be because it's taken 36 hours. I'm definitely pleased I've done it, but I just, I'm not liking it at the moment because it is like, well, it's looking like someone out, looking at someone else in the mirror. And what's weird, when I look in the mirror, it's like looking at me five years ago. So yeah, so I'm now a blondie. I'm blonde and guess what? Blondes have more fun. Woo! And there's only one place for real fun. Vegas. We're here, yeah. to uh, the Planet Hollywood Hotel. We're going to stay here tonight and we're just going to check and get ready. We've literally got like 45 minutes to get ready for this fight. Excitement's in the air as the group are going to Amir Khan's title fight. That's if Gary can tame Katie's new hair in time. Feels <laughs> <laughs> like I'm doing a different person. Come so on, the fight's going to be over. Oh, come on, Gary, the fight is going to be over. Bye. He's saying the Kiss now. Would well, you want me to say goodbye? No! <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Oh, that's too massive. Oh. I love it. I mean, you can ask that. What the f? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, honey. I didn't yeah. know Barbie was going to the f fight. Yeah. I love Barbie. It does look hard, the guy that Amir's got to fight. Look. But he's gonna smash him. You all look great. Move. No. Bye. See you later. Bye. Amir Khan eventually wins the fight after the full 12 rounds. To celebrate, Katie and the gang head to a bar. So now we're just having a little drink. And do you know what we're doing, Phil? I don't know. Uh, well, it's asked you to come to the party to meet everyone. Katie goes to the after party, and surprise, surprise, it becomes a big story back home. Coming up, Gary puts things straight. She had this wild night with Amir Khan, which never happened. Katie signs up for a new challenge. She needs to be doing more running than she is at the moment, if I'm honest. And the tension rises at home. It's not exactly that gratuitous. And you you're like, I'm always... Yeah, with excitement. Oh, shut up. Go slam the door.
Katie's been out of the UK for four days and caused a massive stir by going to a party after Amir Khan's fight in Vegas. The speculation about Katie's marriage has increased and it's alleged a romance has begun with Amir Khan. Gary was there the whole night and knows what really happened. We went to the after show party and we were waiting around for an hour. He never showed and he just did never show. That was it. No headlines, no big stories. But as usual, then the following day in the papers, she had this wild night with Amir Khan, which never happened. I was there the whole time. Nothing happened. End of story. At Heathrow, the paps are out in force. Ah, so this is why celebs wear sunglasses at the airport. Katie has no time for jet lag. It's a few days before Christmas and there's a million things to sign for the fans. What have I got to do today? Oh, that. Katie's older brother Dan is the hard taskmaster. That's what's in there? That's all calendars that you need to do. Yeah. With individual messages on each page. Yeah. Books, 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 photos. Do you want to see your calendar then? You haven't seen one yet, have you? No, I haven't seen it. It's when I was dark then. I like the black and white ones, I think they're quite cool. They're timeless and classical, aren't they? What are you smelling of? Well, someone's that's lucky because they get my does. nose in as well. <laughs> lucky then. Don't you just love that smell? <laughs> <laughs> what? Story behind every picture. Well, a month after I broke up with Pete, that one. I haven't even got the cross through the Pete there. So you can see I was having IVF then. Look at my belly. It's massive, isn't it? To Connor, C O N O R, happy birthday. No, you did on that little bit. You said. It's <laughs> <laughs> not even going to be you put it in the little square. Yes, the dog knackered. You put it in the little square. What's that? <laughs> Look at that birthday message. <laughs> <laughs> you f***ing <laughs> prank. Yeah. To Dean, Merry Christmas, and thanks for your gift you gave me. To Miss Derek. Roger Sexy Summers. To my gorgeous sexual Lee. Happy Christmas, Lawrence Bad Boy Rylance. To Ruben, happy ninth birthday. An American. Right, from Bristol. Well, we've done about 334 calendars, and we've got. 35 books and another 14 photos to go. Even though Katie's body clock thinks it's the middle of the night, she keeps on signing. It's that time of year, isn't it? It's a great gift. I don't know anyone else who does personalisation gifts like this from the celeb world and stuff. I think it's really quite a nice touch to do that for your fan base. That's it. But before Katie leaves, there's one more thing for her to sign. Your marathon entry form. Yay! I need you to sign this. She's running for the Vision Charity to raise money for blind and visually impaired kids. So I'm now doing the London Marathon, signed all my Christmas stuff. So when are we going to start running? Do you think it is? Huh? And what's that? You're tired. When I'm over jet lag. Christmas Eve. With all three kids tucked up in bed, Alex and Katie can crack on with their wrapping. Do they believe in Santa Claus? Do you talk about Santa Claus? Yeah. Are you going to start wrapping? Because honestly, time's clicking. Why to the training? My legs are still hurting. Why? What about the diet? What about the supplements? You're full of s. Well, I'm not full of I've, I've got a routine for you. I've got a diet for you. Can you get slim in a week? Of course you can. Not you can't. You go on as if I'm a hefter. Yeah, but Kate, I'm, I'm not... I, you're not at all. I'm happy with the way you are. I think you're beautiful. I'm going to train tomorrow morning. Bet you don't. 
Mmm, these sweets look nice. I might have one. You <laughs> have one, you fatty. I'm not a fatty. You are. I'm not, actually. The other day, when you said to me, look at you, you're not attractive. Look at you, you're disgusting. You know why? You said to me, look at you, you're pale. You're white. You are. You're like, you've got bags. You have. I'm, that's not attractive. That's not a turn on. When I met you, you was tanned. You'd done your hair. Now you're dressed in like a college boy. That's not nice. Alex, when I met you, you spiked your hair. Now you wear it to the actually, side. Actually, no, I don't no. like the clothes that in you've been hair. styled in. in I like Alex too. I met in the in the casual stuff. Do you wear those things you've got me? They're no, skin tight. They're from All Saints. They're, they're in. They're called skinny jeans with your military Doesn't boots. Yeah, but I'm, I'm, I'm classical. You're dressed in like our 50-year-old. And even a 50-year-old these days don't dress like that. What are you talking about? They were, you didn't like my first outfit when you met me, so I changed. You look but like that, a bouncer. <laughs> you look like a bouncer. Oh, babe, I can't win did. with you. I can't win with you, can I? I'm only saying what I like. Uh, no. There's a lot of things you don't no, like Kate, about me. Everything. Kate, that's a little bit fierce, mate. White? I'm not your mate, thanks. You, you look are. white. You are actually. Gaunt. You're my mate. Just, look, you haven't got that spark you used to have. You've changed me. I'm going back to how I used to dress. Vile. Away from the cameras, Katie and Alex take a holiday to try and patch things up. <music> 2011 arrives. Katie kicks off the year the same way the last one finished. Not arguing with Alex, but having her hair done. Because of all the issues with my hair in America, they've done it completely wrong. I've been in agony with it. I've been going there for five years. It's just balls to my hair up, basically. It's uncomfortable. They haven't been put in my... Anyway, so I'm having them out. I don't like being blonde. I don't like it at the moment. But I think all oh, because the hair hasn't been right, the cut hasn't been right. So tomorrow, I am going to like my blonde because it's going to be put in right and it's going to be cut right. More salon time's needed, but next day, Katie's staying put. Where have you gone? <laughs> I'm forever blowing bubbles. What are you doing to your face? Pretty oh, you're putting bubbles on your face. <laughs> <laughs> you want me to do it again? Yeah. So Ready? You can nearly reach the sky. sky. Then like my <laughs> they fade Woo! and die. <laughs> Instead of spending yet more hours at the salon, hairdresser Mark has come to Katie's. I want a row of the lightest blonde. Katie's got friends coming round, so Mark has had to get with the plan. At least he didn't have to trek here this time. But as ever, it's not just hairstyles on Team Pricey's mind. The Frankie Boyle story is still making headlines. Even the public jokes are made like that. I think it's important for Kate to stand up, not just on behalf of her own son, but every other parent and family out there with uh, a child in similar circumstances. So obviously he lives such a perfect life that no one in his family will have a disability, so he can take the piss out of it because it's acceptable for him. Well, I think an apology would just be suitable enough just to acknowledge that it's wrong. An apology would be nice, and even if he come and met Harvey. Maybe even a little contribution to the charity. Or yeah. Or something like that would be... Exactly. Just a token. Very few people out there seen in the media with disabilities. Um, and uh, I think it's good that Kate can be the spokesperson yeah, or the representative okay. for those families. It's not angry, it's called being disappointed. Lightening up the mood is pop star and friend Michelle Heaton. <laughs> oh my God, you look so, so much different. Good. She should do after 50 hours in the salon. It was $11,000. Short. Oh. I'll show you the receipt. And they only lasted like six weeks, eight weeks. Two weeks. Not even that. It's only lasted two weeks. 
It's not complicated, but why don't you just grow your hair? Dan's been growing his hair for years. Until right, now. Just sit down, Dan. <laughs> Michelle. You can Abby. Jet, you can jet, Barry, this is... What are you doing? Look at this. <gasps> can I tweet pick it? This is like. What am I doing? Years of growth. Michelle. What am I oh doing? my god. Oh, oh my god. god. <laughs> so brutal. <laughs> I've always wanted to do something like this. <laughs> Such a sad day for hair. Oh, feel that. How does that feel? <laughs> it looks <Really> awful. Weird. <laughs> 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 it's going to knock 10 years off me, this is. Yeah, Those cost $10,000. Mine cost no, zilch in 10 minutes. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's okay. so much yeah. shorter, isn't it? Look, at, look in the mirror here, quick. That's why, isn't it? Oh my god, that is short. Wow. It's dinner time and Alex is back from training, just in time to consult on the menu. Are you hungry? Yeah. KFCs? Did you want to get fit? I, mean, I could eat that. I'm all right. You say you, you look at me as if I'm some fatty that fat. can't afford to eat. Oh, okay. I keep telling you about let's eat healthy, and you say yeah, but when I go to say it, you're like, hmm. Hi. 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 Yeah, I'm going to say it, I'm a fat bitch. Yeah, oh, gorgeous. Oh, what are you going to do? Well, what are we eating? My willy. What about it? You can eat it. Why is it always sex? It's not, you're always sex. You make that. People could see what you've put out. Okay, now, I'm always talking about sex. I had a little joke about my willy, and there's like, it's not exactly that gratuitous. And you're, you're like, I'm always. Yourself with excitement. Oh, shut up. Go <laughs> slam the door. Let's have a look in front of the mirror. Oh, the yeah, we're going to need another. We're going to need another. Yeah, another fifty through there. Fifty hours? Surely not. So the hair saga continues, but not for Harvey. It's his bedtime. Oh, I was going to give it one. Oh. <laughs> Good boy. Good boy. And we also get our marching orders. But don't worry, because coming up, Katie finally unleashes the new look. Some people said I like your hair, and I know they're lying, because it looks like an orange plum head at the moment. She visits a very special fan. Hiya. Are you Shauna? I went to the door and answered it, and there she was. And I was just like... <gasps> and Katie has to make a life-changing decision. If Alex and me, the issues were solvable, trust me, that we'd be together. Two thousand and eleven has got off to a tricky start for Katie. She's trying to take her mind off her marriage problems by throwing herself into work. Today, she's about to unveil the new blonde look. This packed out shopping centre is hosting a pop up shop for the KP equestrian range. It's pricey central. Since I was like eight years old, I've always wanted to like look like her, do my makeup like her. I just love her. I absolutely love Katie to pieces. I'm totally team pricey, definitely. A few words of encouragement from pal and horse trainer Andrew, and they're good to go. Do you actually enjoy doing signings? Do you know what I worry about is the safety. And I always think I'm going to get egged or something. Could you At least it won't show up in that hair, to be fair. Watch it, Andrew. Right, we're ready for the big reveal. <laughs> the Pap seem to love it. Thanks very much. Thank you. Thank you. And this as well? Yes, cool. Oh, God, I was shaking. I thought I was going to pass out, but I'm glad I came now. <laughs> it feels a bit overwhelming. It's like quite a small space, and you just there's a part of you that's like, what if we all run at you? But, you know, really good. Really big turnout. Um, I think sales are going amazingly. I think they're nearly sold out. Thanks very much. Thank you. Thanks very much. Thank you. We have been here now. Probably two and a half hours. I'm absolutely exhausted. 
um, and the queue does not seem to be going down. It's absolutely crazy. I don't know what it is. Is it the new hair? I I've got no idea, but everybody's gone absolutely mad. Um, and it's just going on and on and on. So I think we'll be here for another three hours. Yeah, some people said I like your hair, and I know they're lying, because it looks like an orange plum head at the moment. So, and all I say is I prefer it dark, it's orange. But yeah, cool, they, they say it, but I know they're thinking, oh my God, how many wigs or hair pieces has she got? <laughs> this is a great chance for some of Katie's biggest fans to meet her in person. Been chewing for about three hours. They haven't been long hours, probably shorter hours of my life. Was it all worth it? Of course it was worth it. I would do it again and again and again. So he goes up again. Back again. Benji. Sign my hands, Katie. You know Benji already. banter, isn't Benji's it? Benji's banter. Benji. That's it. Thank you very much. <laughs> See ya. Ready? There you go. Oh, thanks. I've got a baby bow for my little girl, and she signed that for me, and then. Satisfied fans, lots of sales, and no protests about the new blonde hair. Good day's work for Team Pricey. I am saying thank you, and I do mean it to everyone. I know I'm not doing it individually, <laughs> but I thank everyone. Thank you, thank you, thank you. A few days later, and Katie's got the day off. It's the perfect opportunity to make a surprise visit. Believe it or not, we are in Birmingham. And um, basically, when I had a sign in at Olympia this year, I, well, I couldn't make it because of the snow. I was really snowed in. And there was a little girl there who went to Starlight Charity who wanted to meet me. She's 12 years old, she's called Shauna. She's got cystic fibrosis. Um, and apparently she was really upset because I wasn't there to meet her. I thought I would come up and surprise her. She has no idea that I'm coming. This is a bit like, surprise, surprise! Right. We look like we're dressed for something out of Batwoman. <laughs> Hiya. Are you Shauna? Hi, I've come to see you. I didn't know she was coming. My mum told me it was my auntie at the door. So I went to the door and answered it, and there she was. And I was just like... <gasps> got your little bag. You've probably already got it. Did you know I was coming? No. I like your hoodie. I recognise that. <laughs> Should we go and have a cup of tea, then? Wait. <laughs> Hiya. My mum said I had the hospital. But so wasn't you thinking, hmm, it's nearly four o'clock, when am I going to the hospital? <laughs> <laughs> wasn't you thinking that? Yeah, and she's like, they've cancelled. Like, no, <laughs> that's good. <laughs> I thought she was ten times prettier in person. She's really down to earth and really nice and kind and just pleasant to be around. Genuine person. Yeah. Thank you for coming. You're my idol. Aww. And I love you loads. Aww. 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 I'll tell you what, this won't be the last time. Definitely mm. keep in touch, definitely. Oh, okay. So whenever you're down in London or near there, you can pop in mind for a cup of tea. <laughs> <laughs> and meet the madhouse and all the kids, <laughs> the dogs and the cats. Yeah. Yeah. Sure that, wouldn't you? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it means a lot. It's like an experience I'll never forget and something I'll treasure for forever. Eat your heart out, Paula Radcliffe. Katie spent the last few weeks training for the London Marathon. Today she's running with friend Abby and sister Sophie. I've got my cans on under there, so I look like a mushroom head. We've got to do a six mile run. And uh, if you've got a watch on, it's on a time myself. Yeah, that's what that is. No, but I'll be quicker than you. <laughs> The brains behind the operation is Katie's brother Dan, who will be with her every step of the way. We're looking to raise funds for the Vision Charity and the Futurity Foundation, two charities really close to Kate's heart, obviously in relation to Harvey. That helps you when you're running, because when you are hurting and you are tired, 
and your legs are saying, give up, I don't want to do any more running. In your mind you think, I can't let Harvey down, I can't let the charities down. We've set up Just Giving website, justgiving.com forward slash Team Katie Price. <laughs> no pain, no gain. Currently, I am a little bit concerned about Kate's training. She needs to be doing more running than she is at the moment, if I'm honest. Come on, take the pole, then you've done it. Didn't you get emotional on that run? <gasps> <It's been laughs> I was getting lucky. I was crying, and then I don't. My poor sister. We're moaning about six piddly miles. That's nothing compared to what we've got to do. I'm just really struggling doing it. I want her to be uh, eight, eight miles now. I think she's only at six. She needs to start knuckling down with her training now. What the hell is going on? This is the real me. <laughs> the real <laughs> me. Come on. <laughs> I want you to cry again. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I'm so, and people, I swear, I'm so noisy when I run. I'm like, <gasps> that they look at me before I've even ran past. <laughs> that was hard. I'm cold. Let's get in. We need to eat quickly. Speculation about Katie's marriage is splashed all over the papers. So Katie releases a statement confirming that she and Alex are splitting up. I do still love Alex. I, I love him to bits. You know, but there are issues and that's it. I'm not going to sit and go, right, there was this that went wrong, there was this that went wrong. You know, that's just between me and Alex. I wasted many years before not being really happy and just trying and going along with it. And I'm not doing it again. I say to anyone out there, if something's not right and you're not happy, think about if you can deal with the issues or whatever the problem is. If Alex and me, the issues were solvable, trust me, that we'd be together, and that's what I'm sad about, because there's so many good things, but there's also so many bad things that I can't see just resolving, to be honest. Next time, Katie escapes her marriage problems and heads off to the Swiss Alps. Well, there's so many dramas going on at home at the moment. Yeah, does it calm you down? It does. But emotions still run high. It's sad, but I'm not interfering. It's just that two people just at the moment can't get on, and that's it. I don't, didn't think it would last anyway. Not being negative, I'm being honest. All the media attention gets to Katie. They've got to change it, because it's like, it doesn't matter what job you do, you're entitled to have your privacy when you're home. You and she faces her fear of water on a Sky TV promo shoot. I didn't know it was a big pool. And no, that was so deep. You know. More from that pool shoot at the same time next week on Sky Living HD. In the meantime, you can chat live with Katie Price right now online at sky.com slash Katie. Next tonight, we visit a moving legacy as we find out how Jade changed my life.